G A K A Rip Your Lips 36 here doing another video. And I just came up with a video idea. I'm gonna start doing more lower building, more painting, like my fishing reel that I painted. And I came up with a video idea. Uh, we're gonna design a fishing lure out of a Nerf dart. Let's get started. All right, so first off, I don't know if the fish are gonna like the color of this orange. So let's go paint this thing. All right, you guys, so I just did a live stream on what to paint this Nerf dart lure. And you guys said white with gray on top. And I just want to shout out Wes Lovelace, Clueless Homesteaders, and Fishy Stuff for helping me pick out these colors. They were the ones who kind of settled that decision. And links to their channels will be in the description. I want to thank you guys again, and let's go paint this. All right, guys, so I'm not going to be hanging this thing up on a string. On a string. I'm just going to uh, paint this. And thanks again to the people who recommended this color. And there is water from the rain. And I'm going to paint this thing. So let's get that out. And let's paint this. So, again. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. So, once again, white with gray on top. drench this thing in white and I don't think it's gonna fill up the whole nerf dart but I don't think it's gonna settle very well you know what I think I'm gonna have to spray some primer on this alrighty so I got the primer put on which is the gray that I'm using for the top and I should have worn gloves but I didn't but I'll clean my hands off so it's time to spray paint this thing in white and then we'll later go on and stripe the gray back on top. So let's do this. Okay, so this white is not holding up pretty well on the Nerf dart, but it's kind of a mixture of gray and white, which I think is different and it's kind of cool. So we're just gonna let it dry like this. Come on, focus, there you go. And then I'll do the gray stripe on top. All right, this thing is somewhat dry now. It does It's not the best, as you can see. There's missing spots, but there, here's the whitish grayish color. So we'll go light gray. And we're gonna do the gray stripe on top. So wish me luck with this. This isn't looking good, except the gray stripe. I mean, I mean, I don't expect a lot. And it doesn't have to look that good for a bass to eat. I've caught a fish on just a hook, and that's got to say something. So, I might just do a Ned Rig type deal. So, you got the gray stripe on top. White. White is grayish. Bit of orange on the sides. So, yeah. Let's go put this thing together. Put a hook on it. Let's do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through the top right here. Come off the bottom. Tie a loop. Put a treble hook on it. And then tie a loop up at the top put line on it and so if this does break it's still got the hook kind of tied on so if it breaks the fish will still be on get on saying so yeah let's do that right now all right so here we have one of the ugliest lures in the world okay we got a little lure a little treble hook on the back and we got a little loop to tie her knots so i'm gonna go try and repaint this thing it's got a nice little round to it <laughs> This thing is stupid. How am I even gonna get a bite on this? I'm gonna have to get so lucky. But these fish out here are monsters. Not monsters like big, but like crazy, just like cookie monster monster. So let's go try and repaint this. All right, as I said, everything's put together. So we're gonna try and just paint this thing straight gray. So we got the gray right there, and let's do this. All right, and here we have finished product all right and that's gonna be for today's video look at this thing this thing looks so stupid but so cool but stupid at the same time you know what i mean like out of a nerf dart it's not that bad so once my arm gets a little bit better we're gonna go try this out maybe bed fish with this thing and yeah thanks for watching this is a weird but Fun video, and as always, Isaac G, 
aka Rupin Lift 36 signing out.